here's how to make the most delicious Peshwari naan. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sanjana and this week we are going to be making Peshwari naan. The filling for my take on Peshwari naan is made up of coconut, ground almonds, ground pistachios and some spices and it is sweet and so delicious when it's wrapped up and encased in that lovely fluffy naan dough. Although it's a really popular Indian restaurant dish, especially here in the UK, Peshwari naan actually comes from Peshawar in Pakistan and it is a Mughlai inspired recipe and it is just so rich and it feels royal, it feels special when you eat it and I love dishes like that because they make any occasion feel like a big celebration or festivity. I'm using my basic Nando recipe here and it is a yeast free recipe using self raising flour and baking powder and this together is going to create a really lovely kind of soft Nando and you can make this in advance as well so what I tend to do sometimes is make the Nando the day before and then put it in the fridge. You want to wrap it up in some cling film, pop it into an airtight container so that it doesn't dry out on the outside and then just whack it in the fridge and when you're ready the next day just take it out like an hour or two before you want to use it so that it's not too fridge cold and then you can continue the recipe um, it's a really good one for if you're having friends over because there's so much that you can prepare in advance and just stow away in the fridge and then when you're ready to roll you can roll out your naan cook them and they are sublime Tap the link in the description box for a full list of ingredients you need to make this recipe. Let's start by tipping self-raising flour into a bowl. To make our naan extra soft and puffy, we'll add some additional baking powder, some salt. Not only does sugar improve the structure of the dough, it also helps to give naan a beautiful flavour and colour. I use icing sugar or powdered sugar since it's easier to incorporate into the dough. You could also use granulated or caster sugar. Now let's make sure these dry ingredients are well incorporated before we add our wet ingredients. A small amount of plain yoghurt will ensure our naans are soft and tender. A small amount of oil, I'm using sunflower oil today. And warm water. I found that kneading the dough with warm water ensures the naan stays softer for longer. If you prefer your naan to have a little bit more chew, then feel free to knead the dough with cool water and roll them a little bit thinner. Both the stuffing and the naan dough are quick and simple to prepare. To bring them together is super easy too. The process is similar to making any Indian stuffed bread such as alu paratha or paneer kulcha. Since there's no yeast in this dough, it only needs to be rested for around 30 minutes. Knead the dough for about 8-10 to 10 minutes or until it's smooth and soft. The mixture might feel a little bit sticky but this is okay. Please don't be tempted to add any extra flour. The dough will become less sticky after resting since this inactive time gives the flour time to hydrate. As is the case with many different types of bread, if the dough is not adequately hydrated it will not rise. It will also be quite hard and tough. Rub the surface of the dough with a very thin film of oil and then cover either with a damp tea towel or with cling film. Now let's make the stuffing for these delicious Peshwari naans. In a small bowl mix together some coconut milk powder along with ground almonds and ground pistachios. Some chopped sultanas, ground cardamom, some golden syrup to bring it all together. If you can't find golden syrup, try using corn syrup, agave or brown rice syrup. Both honey and maple syrup have distinct tastes so these aren't the best substitutes for golden syrup. Finally, some double cream to turn this into a smooth paste. Use a spoon to mix everything together. This sweet filling is so aromatic and nutty, it's absolutely delicious inside these Peshwari naans. Once you've made the filling, it's time to move on to the saffron milk wash which is going to give our Peshwari naans the most beautiful golden colour. All you need to do is mix together saffron with warm milk. Now let's divide our dough into 6 equal portions for medium sized naans. If you turn the dough in on itself like this, it's much easier to work with. 
This yeast-free naan dough will actually keep in the fridge for up to two days. Make sure you wrap it in cling film or place it into an airtight container. Since the recipe doesn't call for yeast, it's best to use this within 48 hours. The baking powder will lose its leavening properties over time. Once you've formed your dough balls, be sure to cover the surface of them so that they don't dry out. Lightly flour a rolling board or a clean worktop. Take a piece of the naan dough and lightly roll or press it out about 4cm wide. Can you see how soft it is just from the way it presses out? This is why adequate hydration is so important when it comes to bread dough. You can use a rolling pin for this job by the way. Take about 50 grams or a tablespoon of the filling and place it into the centre of the rolled out dough. Begin to close the dough up just like a little pocket, making sure that there are no gaps or holes. Use a rolling pin to gently roll the naan in a circular motion between the centre and the edges. Try not to apply too much pressure. You can use your hands to turn as you roll as well. Once it reaches the desired size, about 6 or 7 inches wide or about 15 to 18 centimetres depending on how thick or thin you like your naan. I like to finish my peshwari naan by stretching it into a little teardrop shape. Now let's cook this. Heat a tawa or a large aluminium, iron or steel frying pan over a medium high heat. Don't use a non-stick pan for this cooking method. Take your naan and rub the underside all over with some cold water. This is going to help the naan stick to the pan so later on you can turn it over and cook it over an open flame. If you'd like to pan cook, grill or oven bake your naan, there are some alternative cooking methods in the blog post. To get it, all you need to do is tap the link in the description box below. Be sure to place the naan on the pan water side down. Cook the naan on the hot pan until bubbles begin to appear on the surface. After about 90 seconds, you can turn the pan over, cooking it over the open flame. This is going to give the peshwari naan the most delicious tandoori flavour without having to use a tandoor at all. Restaurant vibes. Once it's leopard spotted and beautiful looking just like this, it's time to brush on that saffron milk. I love this beautiful saffron colour and it adds the most fabulous aroma too. Use a metal turner to gently release the naan from the pan. I'm turning it over just so that you can see the underside. It looks like it was cooked in a restaurant tandoor. Remove the naan from the pan and brush with either ghee or melted butter. 